Hey, what's up, fellas? We are checking out NBA Live 09 with my main man, Matt Lafreniere, who is the associate producer of the game. Matt, thanks for joining us today, man. Thank you. All right, Matt. So break down some of the new features you got in this year's game. What are the improvements over last year, man? So the big thing for us is dynamic DNA. What we've done is we've partnered with a professional scouting company called Synergy Sports Technology. And what they do is they track every single possession of every single game in the league and break it down into tons of different categories. We're taking a bunch of this data, dropping into our game, and it's actually driving our AI. So our behaviors are as realistic as possible. They track things like how often the guy goes left, how often the guy goes right, how often he runs in isolation versus pick and roll versus post up. So it's true to life. Now let's uh, let's talk about how this is actually going to affect gameplay. Okay, so this is a, this is going to affect the AI and make it play realistic. Is that exactly? So if I'm playing against Phoenix, they're going to be running the, the ball up the court all the time and running a lot of pick and rolls because that's what Steve Nash does when he's on the court. If I'm playing against the Lakers, they're going to run a lot of ISOs and, and screens for Kobe Bryant. What's really cool is we're going to have this update every single day. So if all of a sudden Steve Nash goes down and Barbosa is running the point, maybe Phoenix is playing a little bit differently. So that's, that'll be reflected in our game the very next day. Well, I, I know a lot of people are excited about DNA. This is going to be really neat this year. But in addition to that, you guys have done a lot of gameplay tweaks uh, to improve, uh, improve some of the gameplay from last year's game. Talk about some of the, some of the things you spent time on this year. So gameplay is our, our biggest focus every year. And my favorite new feature is what we call pick and roll control. It's basically a way for me as a ball carrier to control two players at once. So just by holding the left trigger, I'll call for a teammate to come up and set a ball screen for me. And based on when I release that trigger, I tell him to do certain things. So I can tell him to slip, I can tell him to roll, I can tell him to pop. And it's all based on what I do. I control two guys at once, and it allows me to, to utilize my strengths, my offensive players, and take advantage of what the defense is giving me. And now you guys also have a quick play option just with Y. So if, if I don't want to deal with plays at all, I can just... Utilize them, yeah, right? just press the Y button, bang, we'll tell you, run a post up for Bynum, run an ISO for Kobe, run a pick and roll for Odom. So yeah, it changes really easy for you. Okay, I'm going to put you in a little bit of a tough spot, but I think your game fixed it, so I don't feel bad in asking you this. Okay. Um, you guys, there were some problems with the running out of bounds, getting stuck in animations last year. Tell me how you guys uh, addressed that issue and what, what, what this year features. So we tried to add a bunch of new animations in this year. We have a new feature called Lockdown Defense, where I can actually get a body on a defender just by moving my left stick into him and try to ride with him and steer him out of bounds Good or push him away from the basket. If you get closer to bounds, we have new specific animations where they're closer to bounds, where they're going to tiptoe along the sidelines. They'll try to do crossovers to break out so that they're not going out of bounds. Well, awesome, man. I know everybody's excited about the game. Big question. When's the game coming out? And you guys also actually tell me when the demo is coming out for the game so people can try it at home. I don't have the exact date for the demo. It's early September. It'll be about okay. a month before ship. Uh, so I'm guessing three, four weeks from now it's going to be out there. Uh, and then we're on shelves October 7th. Fantastic. And uh, what, what console is it coming out for? Uh, 360, PS3, uh, Wii, and PS2. Awesome. Hey, Matt, I really appreciate it, man. Thanks for taking the time.